Greetings from Pastor Lisa from the Solon United Methodist Church. Back for another music moment. Uh, this week, I combined the scriptures from last week and this week, the two Psalms um, in our service because we didn't have electricity because of the windstorm. And so I didn't do a YouTube last week. Uh, so please join me in our opening prayer. How good it is to worship together in unity. Even as we worship from different places, and at different times, God draws us together. We come from different occupations, diverse activities, as unique individuals bound together in the love of Christ. Our battle with the pandemic continues, and we have been challenged by a type of windstorm many of us have never heard of before. Yet here we are, drawn together by the mercy and grace of our faithful God to celebrate the blessings of God in the midst of all these things, knowing God teaches us to live together in unity as God's family. Open our hearts to hear and live your word, Lord. Amen. Our scripture from Psalm 105, selected verses. Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make his deeds known to all people. Sing to God, sing praises to the Lord, dwell on all his wondrous works. Give praise to God's holy name. Let the hearts rejoice of all those seeking the Lord. Pursue the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wondrous works he has done, all his marvelous works and the justice he declared. You who are the offspring of Abraham, his servant, and the children of Jacob, his chosen ones. When God called for a famine in the land, destroying every source of food, he sent a man ahead of them who was sold as a slave. It was Joseph. Joseph's feet hurt in his shackles. His neck was in an iron collar. Until what he predicted actually happened. Until what the Lord had said proved him true. The king sent for Joseph and set him free. The ruler of many people released him. The king made Joseph master of his house and ruler over everything he owned to make sure his princes acted according to his will and to teach wisdom to his advisors. Praise the Lord. May God add his blessing to these words as we share them and listen to them and learn from them. Let us pray in response to God's word. God of love, we come here today to hear your word and to know your truth. You have called us to be members of your family as sisters and brothers in Christ. We have been told to treat each person as your precious child. Yet we know there's division in our family. We don't always acknowledge an all-inclusive nature that you command. Teach us to see others with your eyes and show us the way of reconciliation and unity. Acknowledging the divisions among us, we pray for guidance to realign our lives with the power of the Holy Spirit to unite us in our families, our churches, our communities, and in the world. We have seen examples of love and care in the past week as individuals and groups shared food, supplied water, and worked around the clock to bring electricity back. You have called us to hear the cries of those in need and be witnesses of your love in bringing hope, peace, and healing by extending your blessings to all people. Continue to bring opportunities for us to share your transforming love and encourage us and empower us to do your will. We claim you as our God and praise you for your protection and peace in the midst of chaos and uncertainty. Lead us as we learn to follow you step by step. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The song that I chose this week is called Step by Step. Thank you. 
join me in our benediction and sending. God's mercy and peace will lead you. Christ's compassion and confidence will guide you. The Holy Spirit power will strengthen you. Step by step, walk faithfully with God. Go and serve the Lord. Amen.